morning. It is my birthday today. This is the birthday vlog. I've already started getting my coffee ready. That's like number one in my life. Number one, actually number one is a huge glass of water, which I'm about to drink. But um, yeah, today is my birthday. 37. 30 crazy seven. I still, I still feel like I'm like mentally not 37. I feel like I'm 30. I feel like I'm perpetually 30. 30 was my favorite year. Today I've got a few little plans. I take the day off on my birthday. I've done that like every year. It's just one of those things that I do. I just don't like the idea of working on my birthday for some reason. Um, so I have decided to take the day off. I'm going to make some granola with you and show you my favorite, favorite granola recipe because it's amazing by Deliciously Ella. So good. I'm going to have that for breakfast when it's ready and cooled down. And then I am heading to a coworker's goodbye party. One of our, one of my favorite coworkers is leaving. She found another job closer to home. Her commute was really, really long to go all the way out here. So yeah, she found something closer to home. So I'm going to like a goodbye lunch for that. And then after that, I thought I would be a little bit sneaky and go shopping, maybe a little book shopping, maybe heading to home says looking at some home goods, maybe going to the pharmacy to get some makeup stuff. Oh, the coffee's ready. It's time to make the granola. This is deliciously Ella's granola cinnamon pecan. It's amazing. You're gonna need two cups of oats, one cup of pecans, and then half a cup of almonds. But you're gonna need to chop these, so in go the chopped pecans, and then the chopped almonds. Next, you need a cup of pumpkin seeds, and a cup of sunflower seed. You'll also need a cup of raisins, but put that on the side for later. Now for the wet ingredients, you need three tablespoons of coconut oil. You're gonna wanna pop this into the microwave for about 20 seconds until it's liquidy like this. And then you're going to need three tablespoons of maple syrup. And then three teaspoons of cinnamon. So just mix up the dry ingredients and then next we're going to be mixing up the wet ingredients. And then mix them all together. And then you're going to want to pop this all on a baking sheet and you're putting this in the oven at 350 degrees. Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for you, everyone out in the UK. And then it's ready to go in for 40 minutes. You're going to want to take it out 20 minutes in, just halfway, mix it up. And then you put the raisins in at the last and mix that up. And now it's time to eat it with some yogurt and then some blueberries and granola. Nice little walk with Livy Lou. 
Sophie's behind me smelling something again. She smells everything at this time of year. It's so important. So it's nearly lunchtime. I'm going to be going out to Thai food with my coworkers. I won't be vlogging that because that's a bit weird. It would be weird to vlog like a goodbye lunch for someone who doesn't even know that you have a YouTube channel. I don't think she does. So that would be very odd. So I won't do that. But it is a little bit drizzly today. It's not the perfect day, but I love this little woodland. Like it's not huge. You can see houses around you and everything, but I really like that it's available, you know? Anyway, off I go and then I'm going to take you shopping with me. from lunch and shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed it going to chapters with me. I had like a tail end clip of me going to a pharmacy shop with Drug Mart here in Canada. Um, and I totally bought some things. I got some bookish goodies and I got some beauty goodies. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of briefly show you the books that I got. It was three for 10. Um, I actually have a video coming up about where I get my books for cheap. So um, one of the places that I go um, is Chapters and they often have this section that's, you know, a sale section and they'll have books for three for 10. And so I'm just going to show you really, really quickly because I want to do uh, a haul and this will be part of the haul. So I got The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, The Girl with the Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. And then I got Shelter by Young Un, and I just loved this book. So I'm so happy. I've actually read two of those, but I really like having them on my shelves because they really do reflect me as a reader. So, and then I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I got the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. This stuff is amazing. It's my liquid liner of choice. And it really does stay all day, which I love. Okay, and then I got this Revlon Balm Stain in the color Honey. This is my third tube of this. It's like the lipstick that I wear most often, I would say. Um, I would say, so I really, really love that. And then I meandered down the nail polish aisle. I don't really need more nail polish, but I saw this color and it's so pretty. It's called... 190 style in excess and this is Essie's gel uh, nail polish and their gel nail polish lasts a really long time like two weeks so I just put this on one on today I can't remember for the life of me what it's called but this is like a pale nice lavender color so that made me happy and then um, I got home I was driving into my driveway like you do and there was a man, a delivery man there waiting for me and he had this package for me. Um, yeah, from Penguin Random House Canada. So I'm going to open it with you right now. I'm excited. Ooh. Yay, I got the house swap by Rebecca Fleet. And this is a thriller. It looks really fun. Um, when Carolyn and Frances receive an offer to house swap from their city apartment to a house in leafy upscale London suburb, they jump at the chance for a week away from home, their son, and the tensions that they that have pushed their marriage to the brink. As the couple settles in, the old problems that permeate their marriage 
his unhealthy behaviors, his indiscretions start bubbling to the surface, but while they attempt to mend their relationship, their neighbor, an intense young woman, is showing a little too much interest in their activities. Meanwhile, Carolyn slowly begins to uncover some signs of life in the Stark house, signs of her life. The flowers in the bathroom or the music might appear innocent to anyone else, but to her they are clues. It seems the person they have swapped with is someone who knows her, someone who knows the secrets she desperate, she's desperate to forget. And you know, this is exciting because it seems to me like this is a bit of a mix between uh, Disclaimer by Renee Knight um, and also her Every Fear by Peter Swanson. It gives me both of those vibes. So I'm super excited for this. Thank you so much, Penguin Random House Canada. I really appreciate that. That was a nice little birthday gift from them. They didn't even know that it was my birthday and they even managed to give me a gift. I also got home to this beauty. Isn't she wonderful? She's just having a good snooze. So I think Libby and I are going to hang out together. I'm going to read and she's going to sleep. I'll talk to you guys soon. I am all ready to go out for dinner with Barry, but Barry just gave me my birthday gift. So I got a little happy Bay Day card. There's a theme. If you don't know that I love Beyonce, I love Beyonce. Her DVD, Blu-ray, Blu a um, a coloring book of Beyonce, and then two tickets to see her in Buffalo. I'm so excited. We're going to Niagara on the Lake in August, and we're gonna be stopping off in Buffalo on the Saturday to go and see Beyonce. And I love Beyonce. Like, I practically only listen to Beyonce, although right now I'm listening to Jay-Z, and it's the On The Run Tour um, 2, part 2. So I'm so excited. Hooray! And now we are off to uh, go for dinner. By the way, just a complete side note, today at lunch, uh, there was a coworker that I don't know very well at all, and she said, oh, you know, today's your birthday. It was both of our birthdays. She's like, today's your birthday. Um, how old are you? And I said, 37. She's like, you look so good for 37. So I've officially reached that age. Happy 37. I need some wine. So I am back home after a really lovely meal out with my husband. Um, we went to a place called, I think it's called Backdrop, and uh, it was really good. The drinks were good, the food was good, it was lovely. So after an eventful drive home, we have like 90 kilometer winds right now. I didn't know that that was happening today. <laughs> But there they were, and so the drive home was a little bit interesting. But I'm like, home, I'm going to go and take off my makeup. I'm already in bed, as you can tell. <laughs> but I'm going to take off my makeup and hunker down with a good book. I'm currently in the middle of, well, I'm in the middle of two books. I promised myself I wouldn't do that anymore, but here I am doing it again. I'm reading The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. Loving that. I'm also completely addicted to The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. I don't know if you can hear these winds, but they're so strong that it's nerve-wracking. Um, yeah, so that probably means that I should be reading something nerve-wracking too. <laughs> so I'm going to go and read. And um, I had a lovely birthday. It was a very, very nice birthday. So I hope that you guys are well and having a good weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.